Hello, I'm Patricia, Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago, Illinois. I want to talk to you about 2022, a new you in 2022. So a lot of people, you know what they do, they party it up and then they go set these resolutions that they can never keep. <laughs> I've been one of them. I've many times made resolutions that I can't keep, but I've learned over the years the way to do it. And when it comes to you being a twin flame and being an ascended person or a person who is going through ascension, feeling symptoms, it is different. This is on, which means there's no going back. You can't turn it off. How would you like to get a jump start on the year that includes you making your future memories? Now, a lot of us have memories. We have good memories. We go down memory lane. We remember when nice things have happened. A lot of bad crap has happened. Okay, the whole of 2021 has been one giant roller coaster ride. Up, down, up, down. You know, good news, bad news, one step forward, two steps back. And that kind of goes with the year it was. We're in a new decade. You might get sick. You might not get sick. You're going to feel ascension symptoms. That's a given. Okay. That's what it is. So like you started hearing about this in aspects of love, like, Hey, can you meet someone? Did you eat, meet your ultimate love? Did you, you know, who is this person? What if there's no person and you're just still feeling stuff, right? So I am uh, having a small presentation for three days only at um, January 2nd. So starting the day after the new year, new you in 2022, but not just new you, new moon. You're probably feeling those moon energies already. I know a lot of people are men. Hey men, you're going to be feeling it. This is a part of your cycles too. And the, the kicker there is you're not really going to have a good jump on it because us ladies have kind of had cycles starting from when we were tweenies, you know. And I, I believe me, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. But I can help you make sense of it and help you know what to do because new moon, this new moon is very significant. It is a pivot point. What are you going to pivot into? So we're going to look at a year in review. We want to look forward. We want to uh, set out special intentions. And in fact, I'm going to scratch the word intention. It's like resolutions. The world is paved with lots of good intentions that never take place or actually harm people. How about commitment? Let's use the word commitment. I'm going to make you commit. For the time that you're with me, you're going to do this. I'm going to give you a list of what to do and what not to do in 2022. It's going to be spelled out. It's going to make it a lot easier to refer to because there will be times of massive confusion. There already is. What's happening? What does it mean? Where is it going? A lot of people around me are going through ascension and they're in like complete denial about it because it's new. They really have no context for it. Doesn't matter if the context has been stuff that's been being talked about. Now, I recently had someone say to me, well, why doesn't someone get this out there? I'm trying to. If you know people that really could use the boost, you know, maybe you feel like you need a reset, a refresh, a booster, you know, let's get to your foundational stuff. What if this is new to people? Give them my link. Let them get started. Let them get answers. One of the things I really enjoy in the groups that I lead is my live open floor discussion, question and answer. What are your burning questions? Okay. And to some of those people out there that, you know, give me nice compliments on in the comments section, please start joining. Okay. It's not cutting it. I can take a compliment. Thank you for the compliments, but I'd really rather see you show up and give me your burning questions and let me help you. Okay. Comment sections are not for getting angry. Let's get the anger out. 
comment section are not for commiserating with other people who really aren't doing their own work. They're in no shape to really help you. Let's get some real action because it has to be a new you in 2022 feeling the love. If you're not feeling the things you're feeling, I, let's put it this way. If you're not feeling the things you're supposed to feel, it's time. Okay. It really is time. Okay. And I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep hammering it and hammering it until you take those baby steps. Now, I do this. I've been doing it for 15 years. I actually can look back to my own memory lane and see where I've been doing things even as a child because that's who I am. I am a Blu-ray. I can't deny it. I'm a prototyper. I get put through some of the hardest, nastiest stuff and I prototype it because I don't want to live in that discomfort. I don't want you to live in that discomfort. I don't want you to live in some kind of limbo la-la land. It's time to bridge the two levels of living that you're supposed to. So come join me. The links are below. I'm starting up. You're going to learn. You're, it's a safe place. You will have people just like you. If this is new to you, do not be daunted by it. Everything I say will make sense to you. You know how you know that? Not with your mind, how it feels. Something inside you will be like, ah, oh, this is making sense. It's that simple. So thanks so much. I hope that it is a happy new year. My intention is to make it a happy new year. My, my commitment is to make it a happy new year. And it's already been starting. So I hope to see you there. Bye.